Hey y'all, it's Bridget Moses from Vincent Bridget Moses Godly Encouragement here with the verse of the day today. Today we are talking on Romans 12 verse 2 and it reads, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In order to know the good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God, we have to be rooted in the word, in scripture. We have to stay reading and studying and speaking and applying scripture. Because the word, the Bible says, the word is a lamp and a light unto my path. It's God's word that helps us to see clearly. Now, I, I call it like a spiritual visine. It, God's word, scripture is spiritual visine. Um, our, we, have, we don't just have natural eyes um, and natural ears. We have spiritual eyes and spiritual ears. But in order for those to see correctly and hear correctly we have to stay in scripture faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing as my uh pastor dr frederick price jr says all the time we have to continuously hear god's word faith comes by hearing Faith is belief in action, acting on what you believe in, uh, in scripture, but you can, uh, you can have faith, you have faith in the world too. Um, like I heard T.D. Jake say, you have faith that that chair is going to hold you up. You use faith every day, you know, but um, a lot of people are they you know i've heard a lot of people say and i used to say too faith is just some weird you know hope you know i want something concrete no the bible says faith is the faith now faith is the uh, substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen it is concrete you're believing in something god's word is concrete there's whatever he said in his word it stands it's the most solid thing that you can build your life on. It's the most solid thing that ever existed because it came from the mouth of God. Because the Bible is spirit and living. It's not just words on a page. So God's word is powerful. It's powerful. It was, you know, I used to think that the Bible was just written by a bunch of men and their, their opinion of what happened in that, in that time period and you know, I wasn't really trying to read it. Then I learned and actually when I actually read it and, um, you know, consistently read it and applied it, um, I realized that that was a lie. The Bible says all scripture is spirit breathed. All scripture is spirit breathed, which means it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Yes, the men wrote it. The different men in, in, uh, that recorded the scripture that's in the canon of scripture in the, in the Bible, they did write it, but it was inspired under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit inspired them. And Holy Spirit, God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So God wrote the Bible through man just like he works through us all the time but in order to know what God says in his will we have to get in his word because when we do when we stay in scripture then we're able to prove what is the good acceptable and perfect will of God otherwise we have to just rely on our carnal mind that's all we're left with is our carnal mind and you can only get if you just rely on your carnal mind, you can only get what your carnal mind can get. We have a supernatural God. We have a supernatural God. 
a God that stands above all the things that you see in the natural. If we just rely on our carnal mind, we're stuck relying on our natural mind. And that isn't going to do us any good. God has a billion ways of doing things that we never would have thought of. And his ways are much higher than our ways and his thoughts are much higher than our thoughts. And they're really not close to the ways that we've learned in the world. They're actually 9.9 times out of 10, 9.99 times out of 10, they are the exact opposite. So, because Satan is the ruler of this world system, and all he did was pervert what God created. He turned everything upside down that God created, and that's why the Bible says people will call what's evil good and what's good evil. And to know what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God, we stay in this world. The Bible says, do not be conformed, or we stay in the word. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world. Do not follow the ways of the world. Because if you do, you can only get what the world gets. And the Bible says, if you have love for the world, you're at enmity with God, which means you're his enemy. You're against him. You're his enemy. The world and the word have nothing in common. What it, uh, I'm trying to remember what my uh, pastor, uh, Dr. Fred Price Jr. said, that his, uh, one of his uh, ministry friends said, um, oh yeah, there it goes. The, the word, the difference between the word and the world is one letter, the L, the lie. The L in world, word and world are the same exact word except for one letter, the L. And the lie is right in the middle of the world. Oh no, it's not. It's the second to the last, but it's, it's in there. The lie is in the world, the L. God has so much for us, but I know for me, I could continue doing as, uh, doing my way as long as I wanted to, but I could only get what I could get. It wasn't until I started doing things God's way that I could get what he had. And trust me, my worst day now is a thousand times better than my best day when I was in the world. I thought being a Christian would be boring. I thought it would be just... I thought it was a bunch of to have it up follow a bunch of rules. No, no, no. The perfect will of God that it's talking about in this verse, the perfect will of God is relationship. The perfect will of God is being restored to right relationship with our Father because that's what Jesus came to die to give us. We have access to a relationship. One that impacts all of our other relationships. One that is far above all of our other relationships. God knows. He created us. He knows where we're hurting, what we need, what we're lacking. Um, he knows everything about us. He knows how to fix it because he created us. But in order to know that we got to know what we got to prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of God in order to start working out some of those things that's why the Bible says work out your salvation with fear and trembling trembling it just means walk it out in your soul walk it out in your soul because your spirit is saved is if you've confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead you are saved period your spirit is saved you got a re uh, recreated spirit and now we can, our uh, battle is in our soul, our mind, our will, and our emotions. And that is where we prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God, and why, where we apply it. We renew our mind with scripture. God has so much for us, but we got to do things God's way. We got to walk in the authority he's given us. He's not just going to do everything for us. We have a big part to play in it. He's already done what he's going to do. He's waiting on us to join with him and walk it out. And we'll do that together. See ya. Love you. Bye.